Welcome back to the show, everybody. I'm back from my little vacation, my holiday vacation, and I've been battling a sinus infection as well. But I'm back because I wanted to share something with you today. And I have permission to share the photo of an interesting snake um, that threw a lot of people off. And every time a unique snake like this gets posted, it always causes mass confusion. So let's jump right in today and take a look at this very unique snake. A few days ago, Kristen posted a photo of this snake in one of the ID groups. And I did see it as I was scrolling by, but I, I just been out of it with this infection. So I didn't even really spend too much time looking at it. But then she posted it later um, in my group, a Wild Snakes Education and Discussion, otherwise known as WSED. Link below in the video description. Um, so what this snake is, and now if you take a look at this, this is, by the way, the location is Texas. So what we see is a pretty much a pale white pinkish snake with dark eyes and not much else to go by, right? So she posted looking for an ID um, and it was quickly identified by the more knowledgeable members of the reptile community um, as a juvenile copperhead. Um, and obviously this is not your typical copperhead, uh, an aberrant, if you will, something that's not the typical, uh, something that's out of the norm. Uh, obviously no pattern here. Some people said they could see a hint of a pattern, but I don't, I don't see one. Uh, so really not much else to go by, right? So how do we know it's a copperhead? Well, it's, you know, it's not, it's not a neat, there's no, there is no easy explanation. Let me put it that way. So this copperhead has a genetic abnormality. It was born with no pattern and pretty much no typical copperhead colors. It's just this, you know, pinkish white snake. Um, if you aren't familiar with this, then obviously you'd have a tough time right, identifying this snake. There aren't many features to go by. Now in the past several years, more of these copperheads have popped up, and we'll take a look at some of those. Now, this is from last year, also found in Texas, believe it or not. Um, this one is more readily identifiable as a, at least a pit viper. Um, you can see the head. You can see the telltale uh, features of a pit viper, the actual pit uh, between the eye and the nostril. And those angular features, the kind of ridge that goes around the top of the head that we've discussed many times before, and the uh, large overhanging scale, the supraocular scale over the eye, that helps us recognize a pit viper. And that's where the ID stops. You, you, you probably won't be able to narrow it down uh, between a copperhead and a cottonmouth. And here's another look at the same snake. Um, there are certain features for the well-experienced, just the subtleties of the different shape, shapes of the scales in the head can help us determine that this snake is a copperhead and not a cottonmouth. Um, there's not, it's not really something I can explain to you. Um, it just comes with time and experience. Here's another one from 2019, also from Texas. Photo is kind of blurry, but again, all white with pinkish tint. And one feature about these snakes is the dark eyes. We'll go back and we'll take a look at this one again. Look at the eyes on that dark, all black, just inky black eyes um, with no visible pupil, which seems to be a common trait in many of these leucistic animals. So we get these brilliant white animals, um, and in snakes, it's it can be common in some species, and it seems to be common in at least in Texas, apparently with these copperheads. 
So I thought that was a, a, a neat little snake to share with you all today. Um, just a quick little video. Um, there's a lot of questions surrounding these snakes and some people think that they won't survive into adulthood um, because they're more visible to a predator when they don't have their natural coloration, their natural pattern, and their natural camouflage. That may be true in some to some extent, but I don't personally subscribe to that. Uh, I think that many of these snakes will and can survive to adulthood. Um, but something like this, this unique specimen, they're usually collected uh, and kept in captivity. And collectors will pay top dollar for something like this snake, this uh, leucistic copperhead. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Help the algorithm attract more viewers. And please join us in WSED. Link down in the video description.